Hey Van Heist, Happy New Year! You caught me reading uh, The Adventures of Superman. Oh, that's because we're starting a new project today. For the past few art classes, we've talked a lot about storytelling. I've had you look at pictures and create a story based on the picture. I've given you some uh, words or a little bit of a story and I've asked you to be the illustrator. This time, we're going to be doing both because we're creating our very own comics. So. Uh, the very first part of creating a comic is you got to think about who your character is. Who's this comic going to be about? You'll notice a lot of comics have the main characters right on the cover. This one's a comic about Superman. And who's on the cover? Superman. This one is a Star Wars comic. And who's on the cover? It's Rey from Star Wars. For this part of the project, we're going to be looking at the artwork of comic book creator Stan Lee. Stan Lee was the founder of Marvel Comics, and he is known for having created characters such as Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the Incredible Hulk, Captain Marvel. Stan Lee pretty much created a lot of the superheroes that you're familiar with, and he believed that superheroes didn't have to be mythical beings from other planets. He believed that superheroes could be everyday people just like you and me. And sometimes that's the best way to start an idea for a comic character. But he also was really creative with the amount of powers and abilities that he gave his characters. So that's something to remember when you start creating your characters today. What are their abilities? What can they do? What do they like? What do they dislike? Things like that. For this project, we're just going to be focusing on how to create a comic book character and some ways to bring them to life. So without further ado, let's get going on our comic creation project. Okay, so the first step to creating a comic is figuring out who your characters are. This is a comic that I created called Rocket Man Stan, and it's really about this little astronaut guy that travels around the galaxy, discovering new worlds and making friends along the way. But before I came up with, um, before I created the comic, I had to think of the character of Rocket Man Stan, and I'm gonna show you how I came up with that character today. I used what I've been calling the Mr. Lynch character creation method. That's what we're doing today. We're creating a character. Now, uh, first thing we gotta do is clear our workspace. Now, you may have uh, noticed this. This is one of my character creation sheets that I use in my making comics after school class. But since this is a uh, different year and we're doing at home learning, I thought that I would share my top secret uh, comic making technique with all of you. So you'll notice it starts off with uh, several boxes. Uh, you're, you'll see some shapes up here and you'll see some characters down here. I'm going to show you how you can turn simple shapes into characters uh, just by adding a little bit of uh, some details and some thoughts and a name and some imagination. So let's start by creating these eight different boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different boxes. Now the top boxes, we're going to write some words at the top. The first word you're going to write is blobby. For this project, spelling does not count. The top of this box, I'm going to write pointy, squiggly, and boxy. I'm putting those words there just because I want you to remember as you're working, that's the type of shape I want you to put in each of these boxes. So let's start by making some shapes. Just in these boxes, uh, not thinking about your characters at all, and moving your pencil kind of quick. You don't really need to spend a lot of time on this. We're going to make a blobby shape a pointy shape, a squiggly shape, and a boxy shape. Hmm. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and start with this blobby shape and see what I come up with. All right, so I have four different shapes drawn out and we're actually not gonna be adding details to these shapes. I want you to take a moment and just study the shapes that you've um, created here. I want you to think about if this shape was a character, what would that character be? Hmm, 
So I'm noticing that <laughs> this shape kind of reminds me of some kind of like ghostly sort of creature, but this large blob shape that I made at the top kind of looks like a duck bill. So maybe, hmm, I'm gonna try to recreate this shape a little bit, but, um, you know, change it to kind of become a little bit more of a character. All right, my first character is drawn. Uh, I decided to turn my blobby shape into a character called Ghost Duck. Half ghost, half duck, all hero. Quack. Now, will this be the character I use in my comic? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll use Ghost Duck, but I'm gonna keep on creating more characters and see what I come up with. Okay, I've completed all of my characters. I've got Ghost Duck, I've got Frosty Freeze. I think Frosty Freeze would be a villain, and he has the ability to use his magical freezing gloves to freeze any liquid. Uh, I have Portal Lord, and Portal Lord is a half uh, machine, half magical device, and her ability is to create a portal to pretty much anywhere in time or space. And then I have Stairosaurus, and Stairosaurus is a super friendly hero. She helps people reach tall heights. Let's say that you really wanted to reach a jar of cookies, but it was on the top shelf and you couldn't reach it. Don't worry, Stairosaurus would show up and you could climb up her back. Do, 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 do and simply reach the cookies. <laughs> I like these characters a lot. Um, I'll probably choose one of them to create a comic um, about, but remember today we're just focusing on creating the characters themselves. So my next step would be to go over my characters and some kind of darker marker, make them a little bit more bold and add some color. So here I go. All right, I am completed. I've got all of my characters gone over with Sharpie and added some color. I also like adding a little bit of background color or patterns just to make it look like my character is really in a place. Now, if you're someone that already has a comic book character in mind and you really wanna go with that one and it's not any of these, that's okay, you can do that. But for those of you that are like, hmm, I wonder what kind of character I could should or create, uh, this is a great way to get started. Here's a few examples of past characters I've created. You can see I've taught this several times, but each time I come up with something new. Sometimes it's a monster ice cream cone. Sometimes it's a, uh, it's like a Minecraft pig kind of character. And sometimes it's a, uh, it's a little uh, hedgehog made of fire or a piece of bread that shoots sandwich material at bad guys. Any type of character can come from this character design sheet. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh, remember, next time we are going to be starting our comic uh, and creating a story. But today, it's just about coming up with who our main character is going to be. And also, you can bring in some of these other characters. Maybe my main character of the story will be Sterosaurus. But maybe in the first issue, Sterosaurus has to battle Frosty Freeze in order to access the uh, volcano of jelly beans. I don't know. We'll get to that part next time. I can't wait to see what you create, Van Heis. Have fun with your characters. We'll see you next time.